Hello! On today's episode of Basic Arduino, we will take a look at making two Arduino boards talk to each other using serial communication. Any two Arduino boards will work. For this tutorial, I will be using a Arduino Uno and a Nano. I have a push button connected to the Nano and an LED connected to the Uno. When you push the button connected to the Nano, it will turn on the LED connected to the Uno and if you push it again, it will turn the LED off. Now this is only sending information one way, from the Nano to the Uno, but you could have communication going both directions. This is a beginner's tutorial, so to keep things simple, we will just stick to one-way communication for now. Connecting the two boards to serial communicate with each other is easy if both boards are the same voltage. You just need to connect the TX from one board to the RX of the other board, and then connect the RX from the first board to the TX of the second board. If you're using separate power supplies for the two Arduino boards, you will also have to connect both of the Arduino board's grounds. If the two boards are different voltages, one 5 volt and the other 3.3 volt, then you'll need to use a logic level converter between them. Here is a wiring diagram showing how to connect one. If you don't have a logic level converter, you can also use a less recommended method of connecting them using a voltage divider. On the TX from the 5 volt board to the RX of the 3.3 volt board like this. Before we take a look at the Arduino code, here's how to set up your Arduino boards if you would like to try this out yourself. First, connect the push button to digital pin 2 of the transmitter board, and then connect a LED to pin 13 of the receiver board. Uno and Nano boards use pin 13 for the onboard LED, so a current limiting resistor is not needed if you are using an Arduino board with a built-in LED on pin 13. All of the schematics we have seen so far in the Arduino sketches we will be covering in a moment can be found on this project's webpage. There is a link in the description below. Okay, the first sketch we will look at is the one for the Arduino board with the push button. It will be labeled the transmitter sketch on the website. The first thing we are doing is defining that our push button that we are going to call button in the sketch is on digital pin 2 of our Arduino board. Next, in the void setup, we are initializing the serial function and setting its baud rate to 9600. 9600 is a common rate to use, but any will work. Just make sure this is the same in the sketches for both boards. Now, we are setting the pin mode for the push button. By using the input pull-up command, we can use one of the built-in pull-up resistors of the Arduino board so we don't have to add one ourselves. Next, we can move on to the void loop. First, we have an if statement that is checking to see if the push button is being pushed. If the button is being pushed, it will read as being low and move on to doing a serial write of a value of 100. You can put any value you want here, even text. Just remember that what you enter here will have to be the same in the other board sketch for it to work properly. Next, we are doing a 500 millisecond delay. This is for debouncing the button and also keeping the LED from just flashing on and off. Half a second is enough time to press and release the button. If you did hold the button down, you would do the serial write function and send the value of 100 to the other board every 500 milliseconds, causing the other Arduino to flash on and off the LED every half a second. Finally, we are doing a delay of 100 milliseconds. You don't need this, but I like to include a small delay in short sketches just for stability. The second sketch we will need is for the Arduino board with the LED attached to it. It will be labeled the receiver sketch on the website. To start with, we are defining that our LED is on digital pin 13 of our Arduino. Then we are declaring an integer called val, short for value. This will be used to store the incoming serial data from the other Arduino board. Next we are declaring a boolean called state 
and setting it to false. This will be used to keep track of if the LED is turned on or off. We are starting out with it turned off, so that is why it is set to false. Now we can move on to the void setup. First we are initializing the serial communication and setting the baud rate to 9600, so it will be the same rate as it is in the sketch for the other board. Then we are setting the pin mode for our LED as uh, output and then doing a digital write of low just to make sure the LED is not turned on. In the void loop, we are starting out by checking if there is any serial data available. If there is, the serial dot available will be greater than zero and that means we have incoming communication from the other Arduino board. So, we move down to the next line of code where we store that data into our val integer by doing val equals serial dot read. Now that we have some serial data stored in our val integer, we can do some if statements to see what we should do with it. In the first if statement, we're looking to see if val is equal to 100 and our boolean called state is equal to false. If both of them are true, then we will digital write the LED high and set the boolean state to true, meaning the LED is now turned on. We follow this up with a short delay. This is not necessary, but I added it to the sketch just to add some stability because it is so short. Our next if statement is an else if statement. Else if statements will only be looked at if the previous if and else if statements have been false. In this statement, if the val integer equals 100 and the state boolean equals true, meaning the LED is on, then it will digital write the LED low, turning it off and setting the state boolean to false. So the program knows the LED is now turned off. We then follow up with another short delay just for stability. That concludes this episode of Basic Arduino. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I hope you found this information useful, and I hope to see you here again on a future episode. Have a great day, and have fun building.